How are you guys doing today? Uh, not too bad. So, First uh, attempt at uh, the canola with your new X9s? It is, yeah. So, you know, a bit of a learning curve, but it's coming along. So we'll be making some setting changes today and hope for the best, I guess. Keep all the grain in the combine. Oh, we'll try not to get in the way. Yeah, no problem. And so, capture some good footage. Perfect. Excellent. Okay, see you soon. Hey, Billy, what are you thinking for today? I'm gonna run around with my camera, probably get in front of the combines, make them feel awkward. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Well, they do a good job, so. Yeah, yeah that'll be sweet. Put some pressure on them. Yeah, exactly. They always feel really pressured. They're like, oh, what do I do? Do I smile? Do I wave? Yeah. So just doing some uh, panning there, Brenton, to figure out if you got the right settings in your combine? That's correct, yeah. And we are throwing too much grain over right now, so, yeah. But this looks like a strange uh, output to your combine. Is that how it's supposed to go, or? That is the best way to definitely test for losses right there. Okay. Yeah. Drop the straw and throw the pan. So. Because usually you don't use uh, canola straw, right? So. No, no. We'll have to come back and clean this up, so. Yeah, we might try a few more different things here and yeah, hopefully we can get her better. All right, this morning uh, I crossed the beautiful Peace River at the Dunvegan Bridge. And I'm here this morning with... Brendan Schulmer. So, um, you're part of the Polar Ag family. Yes, yes, I've been here almost my whole life. I'm, I love it. Um, did you... Uh, take some schooling or anything in that regards? Which... Yes, I did just get back from uh, Olds College, took my egg heavy duty mechanics there, uh, came back to the farm, then hopefully throughout the winter find a job at a local dealership and go from there. Right on, what, what do you remember from uh, growing up on the, on the farm? Is harvest your favorite time of year? Yes, it is. It's, it just flies by so fast because it's day after day, it just feels the same, but it's, it's always a good time and yeah, it wouldn't be anywhere else besides here. And um, this year you guys got brand new uh, X9s. Oh, yeah, how's that going for you? I do, they're, they're great combines, I love them. And they're definitely impressive the amount of crop you can put through them and how clean the sample is. It's definitely an amazing product. Did uh, Brenton calibrate you yet this morning? Yeah, he did, yes. And the losses are? Yeah, they're, we're in tough, tough thrashing conditions, you know. Dry straw, dry light seed, have problem blowing out the back. And are you going to be in Redcroft your whole life? I will be. Yes, there's no other place like it. And I don't know. People don't believe me when I tell me it's a place I want to spend the rest of my life. But it is. It's beautiful, and there's no end to the things you can do out here. And the people are so great. And so, what do you tell people? Do you say come? Yeah, spend. Yeah, come spend a week, and you, your mind will be changed. You'll be blown out of the water by the things that you can do, and places you can see, and, all, and the people you meet here. It's, it's, okay, give me the three top things you would show them if you uh, would take them out. Definitely go river boating on the piece. That is, that is probably one of the top things you could do here. And then, just going walking through the bush and the creeks, and just seeing all that stuff is. I haven't found a place that I've seen all the things that you can see here and just how wide and open it is and especially now with the fall colors right yeah, the freedom that there's just you know there's so much room to do whatever you need and just because you're wearing camel you uh, do hunting too or I do I, I probably meant to spend most of my time my, most of the early hunting season in my combine but otherwise I, I do enjoy to do some hunting and what about the people would you uh, take him over to your grandpa and um, give him, tell him a few stories of uh, 
the how life was in early northern Alberta. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that that's also a cool thing to go see. Go talk to the old older folks around these parts, and they'll tell you, you know, when they back when there was nothing out here, just they were settling it, and yeah, they quite cool stories that you hear from the old folks around these places. Some people would would venture to say that there's a, a lack of girls to find in the, in the north northern Alberta. What's your experience with that? Yeah, she's, she's slim pickings out here, but <laughs> they, are, they do exist. They do exist. Yeah. You have to do a check to make sure you're, it's not your cousin when you're going to go on a date. There's that yeah. joke going around. Yeah, everybody makes that joke and it's sometimes true to hear about it. <laughs> I'm now with Lane Sorgen. And uh, you're from the area? Yeah, no, I live around here. I'm from Rycroft. And um, you've worked for the Schulemers for a long time? Yeah, I've worked for them for about four years now. Started when you were 12 or what? <laughs> no, when I was uh, 17, I started. <laughs> yeah. So why did, why did Brenton send me your way as the colorful personality on the farm? Ah, uh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I am pretty great, so it makes <laughs> sense, but yeah. <laughs> Tell me something about yourself. Uh, Any hobbies? Um... Mostly farming and working on old trucks and stuff like that. Ah, do you have an old truck on the go? Yeah, yeah, which one? Oh, <laughs> your favorite one? Uh, I got a 79 Ford 4x4 four four freewheeling edition that I'm working on fixing up right now. Oh, nice. Yeah. What color is it? It was silver when it was new. Now it's just uh, brown because all the paint faded off of it. <laughs> so do you have a picture you could airdrop me so I could put that uh, over uh, yeah. me on the video? Yeah, I, I could send one to you. Yeah. Yeah, sure. let's do that. Yeah. So when do you plan on being done with it? Oh, uh, it'll be a while yet. Probably a couple of years before I'm done that project. I've, I've got too many on the go right now. <laughs> Where did you get the, the body? Uh, from a pasture. Uh, sat there for probably at least 10 years. Didn't have an engine or a transmission when I got it. So, not the, so an old cow pasture, not the pasture at the... the yeah, church. yeah, like a cow pasture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that's where I found it. Yeah, no, it was, that one was actually my first truck. I got that one when I was 15, so. Well, now I'm honored and privileged to be hanging out with uh, the father of the operation, Bernie. How's it going? Good, good. So what do the boys got you doing now? They're the bosses yeah, yeah. now, right? Yeah, they're the bosses. I just filled the holes. They told me I'm driving trucks, so. And you told me I have to edit out any grinding I hear yeah, on that. Yeah, I, I can't talk and drive at the same time, so <laughs> not a multitasker. <laughs> so how long has the Schulamer family been in the peace country? Uh, well, on the farm we're on since 64. Uh, I think uh, it was uh, 62, I think. My dad, my uncle Herman, uh, came up from Edmonton and uh, bought their first piece of land. And where's the Schumer name from? Holland. A Dutch. Dutch. And uh, they were farming that, that the Schumer family farming way back into into Holland. Yeah, our the original farms of both my mom and dad are still operating by by my cousins. Two dairy farms in Holland. Yeah. And then they first moved to Canada near Edmonton. You're saying? Yeah, uh, fifty-seven. 1957 and then uh, a couple of years later uh, split up bought another farm and split had two two dairy farms going up two miles apart here in oh. Redcroft. Oh so there was dairy farms as well in, oh, yeah. in the Schulamer background? Yeah we uh, dairy farm till uh, till the early 90s. Okay. Yeah. When my brother and I bought out my dad it was uh, dairy, dairy business still. So that's what uh, you and Armand had in common uh, in university days then. Yeah. What yeah. are you doing here now, Bernie? Uh, just uh, we have a Wi-Fi camera that we hook up so that we can unload or spot the truck without uh, getting out of the out of the truck, move from hopper to hopper. 
uh, the camera's actually mounted right at the grate at the pit, so it's oh, and then as soon as we get in range, it links up to the Wi Fi camera. So it's on the ground, not on the truck. Are you guys uh, on the same line? It's great, actually. Working? The farm and the two sons they're uh, they're taking on the responsibility and Are taking the bull by the horns. And the yeah, I'm already at a point where I can leave for extended periods and the farm flows along perfectly without me and that's a good thing it's good feeling eh? good feeling and uh yeah it's good that they're uh they're really taking it on and uh taking charge okay well well hopefully we'll meet up again nice meeting you, you. bet okay thank you see bernie i'll say hi to my cousin arma for you you bet <laughs> you could now add combine choreographer to your resume now aaron that's right yeah we're doing a pretty good job so <laughs> ready for the second shoot here has to be fun right yeah well it's a good time <laughs> Good to mix it up, bring some excitement to the field. I don't want to slow down production, no. No, we're still getting lots done. If you look at that, we got a 200 foot pass in, that in front of us, so. Walking home late at night, maybe half past two. A little drunk, but I'm alright. Cause I've been hanging with you And it feels like love Tell me if I'm wrong Cause it feels like love Yeah, it feels like love Come on, come on, come on, come on Come on, come on uh. Won't you hear it with me? Am I out of my mind? Or is this how it should be? You made me sing about love So just tell me if I'm wrong But it feels like love Yeah, it feels like love Yeah! Now, a little crazy for you now, baby. 